represents an attack not only against dedicated public servants, but against our fellow citizens, one being a child who was there to learn more about how our government works, other members of the community who were meeting with their elected officials for the first time, or who were simply running errands on what otherwise would have been an ordinary weekend. This was an attack on our institutions an attack and an attack on our way of life. As you know, Jared Lee Loeffner was subdued by brave, quick-thinking individuals at the scene. He was taken into custody by sheriff's deputies and is now in federal custody. And formal charges are expected this afternoon. Federal agents and deputy sheriffs are working around the clock to learn as much as possible, gather the facts, determine why someone would commit such a heinous act, and whether anyone else was involved. And while we do not yet have all the answers to these questions, I can assure you that teams of professionals are working toward a single goal, and that is to piece together the facts answer those questions, and ensure that justice is done. We are working closely with the Pima County Sheriff's Office, the U.S. Marshal Service, the U.S. Capitol Police, and others in this ongoing investigation. And given this tragedy, all logical precautions are in place to best ensure the safety of other public officials. But I will say, and we'll emphasize there is no information at this time to suggest any specific threat remains.